what's up everyone welcome back and this is the wisdom channel i'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in new and old subscribers if you're just now clicking on my channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell that way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos live streams whatnot so let's get right into it so there's all types of videos out on this and i figured i'd do my own based upon my experience what i've learned this journey of life that I've experienced. So I'm just going to put it out there. Let's get right into it. How to make a woman fall in love with you. This is something you can use this for nefarious reasons, or you can use this for the best things. You can use this to build relationships, you know, whatever. But, you know, this is based upon my experience communicating with women. Um, just overall what i've come to know so if everybody you got your opinions throw them in the comment section below you know we can wrap from there so based upon that we all know this is just as quick as a woman falls in love it's a progress and her falling out of love with you is a is is a not a progress but a process for both of them so just keep that in mind these things that happen over overnight they said there's love at first sight all these things it's possible but i'm just going off of like i said things that i've experienced and what i know typically you know we have all these scientific studies about it takes two to three months for someone to fall in love they say women fall in love quicker than men but men stay in love longer than women i mean whatever your opinion on it that's that's that so two to three months on average however many dates that is Obviously, the more dates, the more interaction you have with her, the quicker she may fall in love. But on average, it's two to three months. Just falling in love, this whole thing, the whole Matrix thing, you know, no one can tell you. You just know, like the Oracle told Neo, that's one of those things as well. Sometimes you just know. It's a series of emotional events, emotional progression within the woman. And that goes through meeting a woman, through courting and getting to know her. And it all boils down to the biggest portion, in my opinion, is knowing her love language. That's a completely different video that I'll do. But definitely knowing her love language is key. And that will put you in the know as far as getting her to fall for you, fall in love and things like that. You, you have to know this. You have to know this. Without a doubt, love language. So that is key. What is a woman looking for in a man? Unlike women are different from us, and I have my notes written down so y'all see me, my eyes venture off very now and look at my notes. Women are different from us men, from, from men. When we see a woman that's attractive, we automatically, for the most part, just want to have sex with her. Women aren't like that. Women can look at a guy and say he's attractive, uh, very good looking man, but she wants to know more about this guy she wants to know what makes him tick and stuff like that we don't care a lot of times to know about a woman we're just ready a lot of times just to get busy she wants to know this guy's personality ins and outs and things like that what a woman basically is looking for in a man for the most part you have all those exceptions ulterior motives and things like that but a woman who's really looking for a man what she's looking for is a uh, a man that's good for her a man that compliments her at the end of the day. Is this man a provider? That's the things that she's looking at when, you know, within conversation, her looking at this guy, other than him being attractive. Is is he a provider? Can I breed with this man? Can I procreate? Can we have kids together? You know, uh, can I be safe and secure with this man? Is he a protector? Is he masculine? Because uh, that's the biggest thing you got to look at. You, if you're dealing with a feminine woman, she's looking for a masculine man. She's not looking for a man that's feminine. That's a complete turnoff for women. Is a man that's feminine, and that's as far as e the emotional compatibility. If you're too feminine, she doesn't want that. She's looking for a masculine man. It's more than attraction. That's what you just need to know. A lot of times, with a woman falling in love with you, is more than attraction. You know, as I stated before, when you first and this isn't about getting a woman or approaching women or trying to get a woman's number this is um i'm that's not what this video is about so let's not get that confused 
if a woman genuinely has given you her number or the time of day, i.e. she's going out of the date, she she can see herself with you or marrying you or in a serious relationship. So just 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 know that. So we're already past that anyway, though, like I said. you. This video is for those who are actively courting a woman and, you know, you just now start dating a woman or you're conversing with a woman. So what you need to be is you need to be consistent with a woman but not overbearing. That's the next thing. How do I do that? How do I not be overbearing? You just have to know based upon the way she's responding. Do not blow this woman's phone up. Don't over text her. This women don't don't want to lose their freedom at the end of the day. A woman wants to feel free of the illusion that she's free. As I always say, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. This that's the same thing with this woman. You don't want to be too overbearing because she's gonna feel like she's losing her freedom. And a lot of women don't like that. They don't like to be uh, feel like they're losing it or that you're controlling them. Don't try to control a woman or making controlling statements or something that will come up as you being insecure as far as you controlling her. You need to be, when you're in a woman's presence or not, you need to be indifferent but never ignore her. I've said this on other videos. You want to not be a, a doormat or her punching bag either, so to speak. You don't want to be, you know, basically edifying her to the point where you're putting her on a pedestal. You're going to compliment the woman, but don't overdo it because you're going to like a sucker. You know, you need to be mysterious also. And what what and that goes into the part what I say about being indifferent. You can't just always be in this woman's face. You have to give this woman time to miss you and time for her to develop feelings for you. This is a part of her falling in love with you. Give her a chance to talk about you to her friends, family, you know, all of that good stuff. One of the things that is most important whenever you're talking to a woman is always do what you say you're going to do. Always do what you say you're going to do. Don't make empty promises to a woman. She remembers everything. I hope you all know that. A woman remembers everything that you say. Whether you say, you know, you're going to take her garbage out, you're going to change the brakes on her car, you're going to pick her up next Friday, this, this, and this. Stay congruent with what it is that you say with your statements. And don't ever fall out of that. That way she knows you're dependable. She can trust you. And that's the biggest thing is getting that trust. You need to also, the next thing, is make her feel like she's the only one even if she isn't. Even if you got like a dozen women. You need to make it seem like she is the only one. Because in a room full of women... The greatest thing is you making it seem like she's the only one, you're the only one that she has eyes for. No matter what, you, you're spending time with her. You, you're, you're, putting, you're making her feel special. She has to feel special above all of these other women and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to court her, make time for her. You know, show her a good time whenever you're around this woman. You even when you're dating, you need to make it seem like this is your girlfriend. You know what I mean? You need to take charge. Even that means, you know, holding her hand, you know, testing the waters, all that stuff like that. Treat this woman like this is your girl for the night. You know, make her feel like she's the only one. Every time you're with her, it's a date. Even if y'all going to Burger King or y'all going or if you're meeting her up somewhere in the parking lot, it's a date. Your your time spent with this woman should be showing her a good time, having fun, guilt free, relaxing, just having fun. All of this stuff you hear about these dates, they talking about invite her over to cook. Most women, especially if you're dealing with a a woman who's a single mother or has kids, she's not trying to come over to your house to cook. She's trying to come over to your house to relax. So all that that you guys are hearing on these videos about invite her over to cook cook with you and all that. She's not trying to do all that. She's just trying to relax so you already got the food made for her. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. The next thing throughout this process is you need to make this woman feel sexy at all times. 
You need to make her feel wanted. You need to make her feel electric. You need to, you know, just give that off with like that, that she feels attractive. You know what I mean? You don't ever want a woman, make a woman feel unattractive. You know, men, there's a thing um, that said that men want to be loved. Women want to be wanted. That's true. Women definitely want to be wanted by men. I don't want to say even some by women. They want to be desired. They want to be, you know, complimented by no matter who it is. So they want to be wanted. You need, and you need to make this woman feel that way. When you're talking to her, even in casual conversation, sometimes just throw a little sexual innuendo out there in conversations. And even while flirting and stuff like that. You know, when you do, anytime you're you're intimate with a woman, you guys are having sex, you need to make this woman feel electric. Be on some, I'm not saying all this crazy, but be on some, like, some some real masculine, borderline porno type stuff. You know what I mean? That's what you need to be on. This woman, when you're done with her, she needs to be tired, worn out, and basically she needs to have, she needs to feel electric. It needs to be a, an incredible experience because women equate a sexual experience is directly it directly correlates to their their feelings and emotions. That's why the next day, especially after a great sexual experience, she's you're on her mind the next day. And she'll either talk about you to her friends, so on and so forth. And uh, she's constantly thinking thinking about you. That's why women, and we're not talking about women who just have sex with any and everybody. But some women don't want to have sex with certain men because of the emotional connection. And that they have strong feelings for that person. Some women won't don't do the uh, one night stands because of the emotional connection that comes along with it because they understand that's how whenever they do have sex it's it's an emotional experience for them unlike a lot of men it's just it's just sex you know what i mean so just keep that in mind and that's like i said that's why you know some most women or some women just don't have casual sex with just anyone be that ear that's there to listen to her problems, any issues that she may have. Be that one of all people that she can talk to once you have her, once she feels that she can confide in you about her, her issues. It's pretty much set. She's on that borderline of falling in love with you. Women will treat a man, just listen to this and I'm going to end with this. Women will treat a man like God if you're honest with her. And I'm going to close off on that. So just keep all of this stuff, replay it back if you need to, keep it in mind, you know, two to three months, but if, if not, then she's really, you know, just keeping you in a holding pen or she just, she's just not into you. So that being said, I hope it's been beneficial to all you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you will. Um, if you feel like it's been of any benefit, feel free to leave a donation, book a one-on-one -on -one with me. You know, all my contact details are in the description below. You know, hit up my website for credit repair and all that other good stuff. Um, remember, anything lost can be found again except for time wasted. I'll catch you guys on the next live stream or chat. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm out of here. Peace.